looking to the stars to find out. Between these two stars is what's going to happen to our sun. Scientists today are, are almost like modern day prophets. They foresee an apocalyptic future. As the sun heats up and the oceans turn into steam, this is not a place that you'd want to be. The fate of the Earth hangs in the balance. Wow, look at this. The temperature at the surface of the Earth will be enough to melt rock, enough to melt the whole surface of the Earth. Fortunately, nobody will be around to see it, which is a pity. <laughs> This is the story of how our sun will transform the solar system it binds together before bringing it to a spectacular end. Peoria, Illinois. An average city in Midwest America. But it has one claim to fame that's out of this world. In the middle of the town, there's a 46 foot wide mosaic of the sun. The centerpiece of a huge scale model of our solar system created by local astronomer Sheldon Schaefer. And here we are at the sun, and boy is it hot. It's about uh, 10,000 degrees here at the surface, and uh, over a million Earths could fit inside of the sun. Peoria's solar system, 99 million times smaller than the real thing, accurately reveals the relative sizes of our sun and its planets. Okay, we're all together. And the distances between them. My job title is Curator of the Solar System. And we just went 33 million miles until we got to this tiny little two inch Mercury. All right, so we're headed off to Venus. From Mercury, the inner planets are strung along a picturesque riverside path all the way to Mars. These planets are relatively close together. The outer planets are much further away in some bizarre